Sorry guys. Hey what's up YouTube, this is 17 Jenkins here, and I'm back, spookified, and ready to play episode 9 of Spooky's House of Jump Scares. As you guys can tell by my get up, um, I am recording this on October 31st, Halloween, and kind of today my friends and I had a zombie nerf war, and so that's why I look like this. Um, it looked a little bit different, um, I've got pictures right here just to show what it looked like before and after because now it's actually really cool because running around like an idiot when I was sweating and just getting, you know, hyped up and stuff actually made the fake blood run and opened up the liquid latex and now it actually looks like torn skin even more so. That's, that's, it's kind of cool how it got messed up but actually it looks better than it did. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and start floor 600. It's crazy to think about. But yeah. Um, I've, I've been doing a lot of research on Halloween, and it's actually really, really bad, the satanic. Um, dressing up, I don't think, it is in any, unless you're like a demon or something. Um, zombies personally aren't, probably aren't that great, it's not like a princess or something. But it's better than a demon or something. But, yeah, it was just, it was just for fun. I mean, there is really some serious stuff that goes on, on this day. But, I don't condone any of that, because Satan's bad. Satan's very bad and tricky. I mean, I know that as a Christian. Okay. No. How about nah? Can we not do this, please? <laughs> what is up with this wooden... No, sir, not the spider. Oh, gosh, that's new. Man, even the little ghost thing is starting to take different shapes. That was a nerve. Oh, no. I, I bet I know who's coming. I just have a feeling. Um. What's... Well, that's good. It's like a spaceship! Well, actually, it's a laboratory. That's... So these are the guys that made all that freaky stuff. Oh, it's a note. This facility is quite odd. Some of the equipment doesn't seem quite right, almost as if it were designed for people without hands. Also, I'm not sure if it's just faulty electronics, but the power keeps fluctuating, and weird noises are coming from the air ducts. Oh, goody. Poop. Oh, yeah. I do not like this. I do not like this. Alright. Spooky just said that there were things we needed to salvage from this place. I'm starting to worry that a loose specimen may be included in the list of things for us to retrieve. The power just shut off again. Is everything broken in here? Holy poop. Can you not, please? Holy cow!
I thought it didn't show up till 618, guys. Let's try this again. Yay. Yay. I hate rubbing my face because my liquid latex and makeup keep coming, keeps coming off. <laughs> it's, I'm telling you, it, like literally, like my, you guys can see like this right here is lifting up and coming off. It's it's crazy, like on my nose and stuff that like that. Yeah, so it's pretty. It's kind of cool. It's gross, but it's cool. Especially how the sweat made it do that. Me getting messy actually made it better. I wonder if my axe can hurt specimen two and the other specimens. I'm wondering. I I know if I hit that thing that just came out and killed me with the axe, that um he'll actually transform into a faster but weaker specimen. So yeah, like now I think his attacks do like 60 damage and they do like 40, and he'd be a good bit faster. Um, I may just go ahead and hit him. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I probably should not. I should probably just get past him and just. Well, now I know what to expect. That's for sure. Um, the door first. Oh yeah, I've already read that. Okay. Can't do that. Okay. Close. That's why I couldn't get away from him because the doors close, open, and then immediately close back. Man, that's trolly. That's really, really cheap and trolly. No, sir. Please don't. he changes form he gets faster and he does that which is very disorienting you snow no no not this time hell nope no it's freaky and scary man Please don't, please don't do that. It's just, oh, that's disorienting. Oh my goodness, no. <gasps> what? Oh, holy cow! So that's what it means when he gets faster and changes form. Or does he throw those off of him? I wonder. So it was like it looked almost like a Mothra larva from Godzilla. Still haven't outrun him yet. Goodness. How about no? No? That would be great. Yeah. Z zombie to a monster, please. Okay. This. These monsters just get freakier and freakier, man. I would check and see what that painting is, but... Yes! Escaped. Awesome. Woo! Can't do that. Alright. Is it just me or is the sprint getting eaten up faster? 
It could just be because I'm paranoid. Keep pressing the sprint button. I don't know. It's a candle. All right. I really hope there's a save point. Hey, there's the games. <gasps> there's a new game! Spooky Cart! We're playing this. Oh, that's horrible. This is so unfair. Excuse me, pardon me, get out of my way. Thank you. This is so weird. Like, this is just like this horrible game, and then in the middle of it, there's these random little mini games. It's so easy. I wish I knew how to do Nitro. So, wait. Did you just keep going? Like, what? What in the world? You just keep going? cars so you just keep going around and around and just wrecking other cars it's not nice bye excuse me this is so weird so you just keep riding like seriously, like I'm just not gonna hit the other cars because each time I hit a car, it gives me a checkpoint. So I'll just see exactly what happens. I'm an Uber driver because every Uber driver drives a Hummer. And seriously, like she's she's choosing like the least effective gas mileage car is like 10 miles to the gallon seriously that was strange that was very there's still one more so I'm hoping this opens up before the end of the game and I will I'll be playing it um, of course not of course not because you can't do that anymore yeah of course not. This game's a troll. The game makers like studios are trolls. <laughs> you really are. Like, it's like, oh, you can save every 50 floors, hit three, floor 300 or so. Psych! It just makes it that much harder and more frustrating when you die. Wait, what? I just turn up the... Okay! Lightroom. Okay. I'm trying to move this thing around a little bit. Alright. Alright. Forward, forward, forward. Left. Alright. Left, forward, forward. Hey! I, I don't know how I do it, but I found it. I, I don't I don't even know. I just Pretty, I try and do it by the list, but then I end up doing something completely random, and it always works. I don't, I don't understand. Ah oh, man, the game ain't working yet. There's the fan and the phone. The obvious reference to FNAF, which is really cool that they did that. I'm sure they had to ask permission to use it though, because like that's pretty, pretty 
any popular. And well, I saw, I see the holes. So I'm, I'm guessing Mr. Spider is here. Ooh, yeah. I just realized, yo, we're about to be on floor triple six. Like, is something bad gonna happen on that floor? I there's a, there's a spider. Wait, I'm just curious. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, I should not have looked back. There's two spiders, guys. There's not just one. There's two. And they don't even make the chase sound, either. I did not know that. I'm glad I know that now, because, dag. And they don't even make the sound anymore, so... I'm gonna keep running. They just made a sound. They just made a sound. I heard him that time. Okay! Thank you, Mr. Freako Face. <sighs> oh, so close, guys. So close. Well, now I know what the spiders look like in-game. And they look terrifying. Quite terrifying. Especially because I didn't... I was like... I was wondering if there was like six chairs in the room. Just as a reference. Oh, no. Of course it's locked. Come on, scare me. Go ahead. Scare me. Go on. Go ahead. Do it. Go ahead. Do it. Or just teleport me. That that works. The only time it scared me was that one time I was not even expecting it, so I don't even I don't even know. Um and it was just so random. Like it just like and it was one of the most effective jump scares in the game. Cause I didn't even see it coming. Everything else makes a sound. Well, except the spiders. Um, and so I really did not expect it at all, and that's really what made it a great jump scare. <laughs> it really did. It just literally was like, ah. and it, I don't even think it's a specimen. It didn't look like one. All right. Oh, whenever the music changes. Um. I'm not looking back this time, guys. Not in that room. It was bad to look back in that room. It's kind of like Lot's wife when she looked back at Sodom and Gomorrah, but kind of not. Um. <laughs> okay, the spiders have stopped chasing me for a while now. That's good. Um. sound effects for ambiance. Let's well, think. This game alone on ambient, ambience, ambience, whatever you say, ambiance. It just is killer just cuz of that. This creepy sounds, the doors creaking and all that. It's just perfect. Just to scare you. I mean, that alone and then you add the freaky monsters in here too. It's just pretty well put together. I guess like I'm actually thinking of doing a review of Spookies once I'm finished with it. Just overall kind of just breaking it down. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to play the whole game through. I think I can do that. So, yeah. Expect that after this is... After this is done. Okay. Okay. Just a couple more floors. These spider webs everywhere freaking me out. Making me think they're everywhere. Come on. Come on. Yes! Yes! Floor 700. We are done with this episode, guys. So that was my ninth episode of Spooky's House of Jump Scares. This game is getting crazier and crazier and more and more hectic, and I love it because it's finally turning into that horror game I was hoping it would be. Just creepy, scary, just spoopy all over. And even the little 
Specimen 1's getting creepier. So, yeah, before that big freaky head jump scares me, as always, God bless. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.